edition of Play Days is tomorrow morning at 5 past 10 when the favour stops once again at the Y Bird Stop, part of Children of BBC. In five minutes, Linda Mary Evans will be at St Paul's Church in Longridge near Preston in Lancashire for a united service of thanksgiving for harvest. Now on BBC One at 10 past 9, Chris Lowe with a new Sunday morning news summary. Good morning. Fighting has continued throughout the night in the breakaway Yugoslav Republic of Croatia. Its president has again appealed to the Federal Army to agree to a ceasefire, but the army seems to be preparing for a new phase in its offensive. From the Croatian capital Zagreb, Jeremy Boeing. again in Zagreb this morning, sending civilians rushing to the shelters. General Kadievich, the Yugoslav Defence Minister, appeared on Serbian TV last night and dismissed Croatia's latest offer of a ceasefire. He said the Republic's leaders had fascist tendencies and couldn't be trusted. The fighting is as widespread as it's been in Croatia, but the big federal offensive, which has seemed likely since reinforcements were sent from Belgrade three days ago, hasn't started yet. The Croatians talk optimistically of counter-attacks using recently captured weapons. But they're outgunned by Europe's fifth biggest army, and the Croatian leaders are preparing their people for the worst. The boxer Michael Watson has undergone emergency brain surgery after losing his world title fight against Chris Eubank last night. He's in a critical but stable condition. Chris Eubank is also in hospital, apparently suffering from exhaustion. After a fast and furious fight, it was Eubank who was knocked down first, late in the 11th round. But Eubank came back quickly to take Watson by surprise. Watson plainly hadn't recovered fully when the last round began, and before long the referee halted the punishment. While Eubank celebrated, scuffles broke out in the ring and several people were arrested. Watson, meanwhile, had collapsed in his corner. Surgeons this morning carried out a two-hour operation to remove a blood clot from Watson's brain. He's now in the intensive care unit at St Bartholomew's Hospital and is expected to undergo further treatment today. Labour has renewed its call for an immediate general election after an opinion poll suggested it had a 4% lead over the Conservatives. The survey by Murray for the Sunday Times put the Tories on 39%, Labour on 43 and the Liberal Democrats 14 A Murray poll three weeks ago suggested the Conservatives had a lead of 2%. Most polls this month have put the Tories ahead by up to five points. One survey last week indicated the two main parties were neck and neck. Government's run out of ideas, doesn't know how to cope with a recession which John Major as Chancellor helped to create and as Prime Minister is perpetuating. The government's run out of ideas, it's run out of measures. The country's run out of patience with the government. We need an election. Despite the latest poll, the Health Secretary, William Wardgrave, expressed confidence about the Conservatives' long-term position. The trend is still very encouraging for us from the uh, early summer onwards. The underlying trend has been in the right direction. And I think one of the most encouraging things for us is that our lead over Labour on confidence in handling the economy is growing. And as the economy is getting steadily better, I think that will mean that uh, the uh, long, medium-term position, long-term position, is very strong for us. Police in Hertfordshire investigating the disappearance of a missing girl have charged a man with murder. It follows the discovery of a body near a rubbish tip outside Luton. The police have been looking for 16-year-old Cordelia Lovett, who has not been seen since last Wednesday, when she left a friend's house some 20 miles away from where the body has been found. That's all for the moment. There'll be more news at one o'clock. Hello, good morning to you. Well, a much cooler and fresher day across the country today, but a fair crop of heavy showers coming through as well, mixed in with some pleasant sunshine. Now, overnight, we've seen some very welcome rain across southern parts of England and Wales. A band of heavy rain moving south eastwards fairly steadily. It'll be leaving the Kent coast around about uh, 10 to 11 o'clock this morning. Plenty of showers coming in behind already, but some very pleasant sunshine for all that. Now those showers will become more widespread as we go through the middle of the day into this afternoon, and there could be some hail and thunder, particularly over the northern half of the country, from about northwest England, north Wales, northwards. Fairly strong winds coming through as well. Now later in the day you might find those showers beginning to die down in the southwest, but then there's some more rain to come tonight.
Temperatures, well, very disappointing, really. About 17 to 19 at best, but only 12 up in northwest Scotland. That's it from me. Our film at 10.30 this morning is a colourful comedy musical starring Peter Palmer as Little Abner. Now, for our service of Thanksgiving for Harvest, we join Linda Mary Evans at St Paul's Church, Longridge.